Hani. He's not here right now, but I know that uh, I know the two gentlemen to my left are uh, two of the classiest people in, in the sports. So I want to uh, recognize um, Adrian Granados, who really fought with all his heart tonight and, and gave everything he had in himself. Um, that's what makes that guy so entertaining. Um, and he's a guy I think you're going to see back on television because because he earned it. It was clear to me that um, that Sean uh, got hurt in this fight. I could see him, you know, you know, losing, using only one hand for a, a good portion of the second half of the fight. Um, I thought, and uh, it was also a gutty performance uh, by him to handle Granada so clearly um, when he wasn't 100. percent So I'm going to turn it over now to um, to Sean at the Kenny Court. Back up here, a winner, a champion, silver WBC over here, and I'm proud of that. Looks beautiful. Um, as Lou DeBella um, explained, we uh, we worked really hard tonight. We worked really hard before we got here, and we knew who we were up against. And Adrian Granados, and he brought it all. He brought it all. Uh, we get right back to him um, every time he came at me. Uh, my dad's instructions were to. Hit him in turn, hit him in turn, make the fight look easy, make it clean. That's what I try to do. <clears throat> I think about maybe the fifth or sixth round is where I uh, hit him flush with a jab and I felt a little sting in my hand. And um, it just kind of continued from there. Uh, it wasn't every punch that I hit him with, but periodically throughout the fight, uh, each round I would feel something. And uh, I actually came back after the maybe the fifth or sixth round. My dad said, "What's wrong?" I said, "Nothing." I said, "What's wrong?" I said, "Nothing." Said, well, tell me what's wrong. I said, Nothing. All right. And then he continued to coach. But <clears throat> by the tenth round, I think it was pretty evident that uh, you know what was going on was you know I really hurt my hand, my left hand, my jab hand, my best hand, my favorite hand, and uh, and um, I really did at that point when I when I hurt my hand and I couldn't use it. I kind of felt, <clears throat> I felt the feeling of, what am I gonna do? And um, my dad told me exactly what to do. I thanked my dad uh, for pushing me through the last three rounds it was, um, keeping me focused, keeping me uh, in the right frame of mind, and pulling out the gut that Lou alluded to that you saw in the ring uh, tonight. So, I'm very uh, proud of my performance. Um, definitely had to take a look at my performance and make sure it was uh, everything that I thought it was in the moment. And uh, obviously right all the wrongs and, and try to keep cleaning it up. But uh, right now we're looking at uh, just doing our post camp, which is uh, recovery and uh, a little bit of movement as well. And uh, doing the best we can to get back going as soon as possible. Uh, doctor said x-ray this. He says he thinks it may be fractured and uh, take a, get a good look at it and rest as long as possible. So that's what we are, are prepared to do, but we are also prepared to fight Keith Thurman as soon as possible. I don't have that WBC silver title for no reason. They told me what I, what I got after this, that's Keith Thurman. So we're gonna do our best to get that.